Hi, this is Margie Basso with Eastlink TV, and today I have Tiffany Beckendorf as well as Amy Grice, and we're going to be talking about the V-Day event for 2014 with Oliver and Asoya. So welcome, ladies. And I'm going to start off with Tiffany, and Tiffany, perhaps you can talk about your role this year with V-Day itself. Well, last year with V-Day, I was a co-director, and it was an amazing experience. This year, I'm taking on the role of lead organizer, and... We've just got a wonderful group of volunteers and last year we raised almost $7,000 for Desert Sun. So this year we're trying to go bigger and better and already we had our first meeting and people have shown a lot of enthusiasm. So we're really excited. We've got a lot of different projects going on, including One Billion Rising, which will be February 14th at Medici's. And that's just a chance for people to get out and raise awareness about violence against women and girls and stand up and say, we're not gonna take it anymore. And um, maybe elaborate a little bit more on the V-Day event itself. It's something that goes internationally wide, nationally Absolutely. wide, and it typically happens on February 14th, the One Billion Rising. One Billion Rising does happen on February 14th, but V-Day is a huge project started by Eve Ensler about 13 years ago, I believe. And she just started interviewing women and girls about their experiences being women and girls. And what she discovered is that there's a lot of violence out there and people don't necessarily talk about it all the time but almost everyone has experienced in some form or another some kind of violence whether it's yourself or a sister or a friend or a mother and so yeah it's it affects everyone so we're just trying to take a stand against it and raise awareness and and funds for Desert Sun as well. And obviously it was very successful last year with the money and the funding that was raised for Desert Sun Counseling that was directed to uh, women's services predominantly to be able to assist women that, and families that are experiencing violence. Now with the One Billion Rising we also had some amazing door prizes and perhaps you can talk about our main one. Our main door prize is a catered dinner for 10 in your own home, a four course meal by the Wallies and I guess that's parties and pies. Parties and pies. And it's a really, truly amazing prize. So that's our top raffle prize. And then there's other prizes as well. So it's definitely worth buying tickets for. And you, the draw will be done on February 14th at Medici's for One Billion Rising. <laughs> and of course we'll have tickets available ahead of time for that if you Absolutely. can't make the actual event. We're asking to have as many people and it doesn't necessarily just have to be women. We had children there last year, men last year coming for the One Billion Rising event on February 14th at Medici's. I think we made about $1,000 on that raffle alone uh, and that's not including the money that was raised with the actual play itself. So I'm going to turn it over now to Amy Grice and Amy Grice was involved as one of our main actors last year, actresses last year and did an incredible job. And Amy, this year is probably going to be act acting as well, but she also is stepping up to co-direct. So Amy, just talk about a little bit about your role this year. Sure. Well, I'm really looking forward to sort of stepping it up and uh, for the opportunity to really take a stand against gender-based violence. Um, what's really exciting about uh, the play that we're putting on this year, it's called A Memory, A Monologue, A Rant and A Prayer, prayer um, also by Eve Ensler. And it involves men and women this time, and I think it's really important for men to get involved in the fight against gender-based violence as well. So it's a chance to um, really get anybody from the community out that wants to get involved. You don't have to be an actor, have acting experience. We will be reading. Um, so if you've never acted before, maybe it's something you thought you'd like to try, or even if just um, the, the fight against gender-based violence is something that's important to you, it would be really exciting for you to come out and uh, do a reading for us and see if there's something that you'd like to, to, to perform for us. So we will have contact information a little bit later with Tiffany talking about how you can get more information and perhaps get a hold of uh, the script and take a look and see if that's something you're interested in. It's still based with monologues, correct? And I know that you've read through the script and I know you can't give everything away, but perhaps give a little bit of information. Well, sure. I mean, it's um, it, it, some of the stories are a little bit heavy and... Um, but the message that we really want to try to portray here is that there's hope that you can um, that you can come back after experiencing violence or some of these these horrible things that happen to women and it you know it's such a, a prevalent thing and it spans across all races all ages um, all countries and so it's I think it's really important for us to all get together to to take a stand against that. And of course, it was so successful last year, and, and I know that you really enjoyed the part that you read as well, and you were re very well received. So um, maybe just give some uh, reflection on being an actress and participating. I know that you have some background, but there were women there that actually had no background whatsoever. Well, sure. Well, I mean, for me, I've acted before, so I, it, it was 
it was kind of a humbling experience actually to be doing something like this because it was for such an important cause. Um, so, so for me, um, just to get out there and, and hopefully uh, maybe free some women, you know, and, and, and make them feel like they can come out and, and, and speak for themselves and take a stand themselves. And we had incredible cast last year. We're expecting to have the same this year. We've already had within our first meeting uh, quite a bit of support. There was a lot of women that showed up and we did have uh, Norberto as well coming and, and we're hoping to get more men, especially with this script this year, where it, which allows more men. Perhaps Tiffany, you can elaborate on where the funding will be directed this year. This year, uh, the funding will go to Desert Sons again, but it will go to men's programs designed to help with violence against women and children. And that's, I think it's a good realization for people to make that it's, you know, it goes all around. It's not just women, it's the whole family, it's everyone. And it, you have to work with everyone. You know, we're all people, we all have our issues, we all have things that we are working through. So I think it's really great to kind of change it up this year and get men involved and I'm really excited. We've got a great group of people already and the ball's rolling fast. Very fast. <laughs> and, and perhaps you can talk about location because our location we're hoping will change. We are. We're hoping to do it in the Venables Auditorium this year, which would be so exciting because, I mean, you can already see it's just such a beautiful venue and I think it would be a wonderful way to christen it and, you know, do something that's fundraising and raising awareness and it's a it's really a community effort it's really a community thing and we saw that last year the the people that came together and you know I'll never forget after the play the energy was just amazing it's it's definitely an amazing experience so if you have any interest at all please come out and you know just give us a shout you don't have to be on stage you know there's so many ways to get involved selling tickets or putting up posters or anything there's something for everyone definitely and, and Amy, maybe you can just talk a little bit more about that because I know that uh, some people, especially last year, we had some, some newbies that had never done anything like this before and they did do a fantastic job, but there are other things that you could do in order to still be part of this performance. Can you, just with your experience, talk about that? Oh, sure, absolutely. I mean, even during the night of the play itself, we need people to help with costumes. We need people backstage. Um, so there's all sorts of roles to fill, even people taking tickets at the door. So even if you're not sure where you might fit in, if you give us a call, I'm sure we can find something for you. Um, something that's really important with the V-Day campaign is the spirit of inclusiveness. And anybody that wants to get involved, we will find something for you to do. And of course, uh, you know, the bottom line is awareness. And also the secondary notion is that we want to be able to raise money for Desert Sun and for their counseling programs. And so there are other things such as we had a, um, an art event that was there. I think we had a bake sale that was there. So we always need people to organize that sort of portion as well. We're hoping if it's the Frank Venables that there will be, uh, uh, we'll be able to have a wine component there today or during that time. So maybe elaborate on that. Well, hopefully, I mean, that would be super exciting because this is a, a winery valley and to be able to get the wineries involved and have a bit of a reception afterwards and an art show, hopefully, like we really want to go all out this year. So like Amy said, I mean, there's so many different ways to get involved. And if there's something that hasn't even been considered, but you think it might be a good idea, you know, just let us know. Absolutely. Now, there was also within the program a lot of advertising, and the advertising did bring in a good portion of the financial comp or money that was raised for Desert Sun. So if you are an organization and you'd like to get involved at some point, we will be on a, uh, an advertising campaign as well. Mm -hmm. And it had very good coverage in the program itself. And it was a sellout crowd, crowd last year, correct? It was. It was a sellout crowd. And... You know, we've tossed around the idea of maybe doing two shows. So there's, we're hoping to reach a huge amount of people. You know, we sold a, we sold out last year, and it, it was incredible. And people are still talking about it. We've all had people come up to us, you know, a year later and say, "Wow, you know, I remember that show. It was an incredible time. It was just, it was such a huge community event and something great for humanity. Really, I mean, it's a huge, huge thing." So. And of course, big accolades to Paula De La, no, Paula, see her name again, Paula Rodriguez De La Vega, <laughs> who uh, really was the impetus last year, had a, a strong team behind her, but Paula was the one that got the ball rolling, and I'm sure she'll be involved this year in the background as well. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about contact information. So if people now are interested in finding out more information, perhaps if they want to look at the script, who can they get a hold of? They can get a hold of me, and that'll be Tiffany Beckedorf, 
Tiffany, T-I-F-F-A-N-Y, B-E-C-K-E-D-O-R-F at gmail.com. And we also have a Facebook page, V-Day Oliver Soyuz 2014. So you can find us on there. And we're also on Twitter, actually, too. Uh, I think it's V-Day South OK. And, of course, you could always contact Roxy Van Eller at Desert Sun Counseling, and she'd be able to forward you to the direct, to the co-directors or to Tiffany, the lead, uh, lead organizer, in order to get more information. So, ladies, anything else that you'd like to add? Well, I'm just really excited to be involved again this year. It's such an important cause. It really brings the community together, and I think we're going to have a great event this year. Yeah, it's going to go by fast, and like I said, we've already had our meetings. It's never too late to get involved, so please make sure and contact some of the people that we talked about today if you want more information. And thank you ladies so much for coming today. This is Margie Basso with East Link TV.